Hello everyone and welcome back to the Nerd Cave. In this project today, we are looking at a binary to hexadecimal and denary converter using the Raspberry Pi Pico. I made this PCB board for my computer science class when learning about the fundamentals of number systems using computers. This PCB will serve as an excellent soldering practice. I have made three different versions of the board depending on how the 16x2 character LCD is connected or if you are using through hole LEDs or addressable LEDs. If ordering the PCB is difficult, you will be able to build this on a breadboard which I have done here before designing the PCB. Regarding a Raspberry Pi Pico, you will learn how to connect a 16x2 character LCD, set up pins for input for the buttons and output for the LEDs, and get programming practice using MicroPython. The learning board will convert an 8-bit number to denary or hexadecimal. This project allows you to set the bit high or low in an 8-bit number, which will indicate through an LED by turning the LED on for 1 or high, and off for zero or low. The board has 11 inputs, including eight buttons to select the bit from zero to seven, and add, subtract, and reset button. The picker will receive a denary number depending on the bit position set to one, and convert it into binary and hexadecimal through some clever Python functions. The 16x2 character LCD will be used as output to indicate the result. The LCD will display the decimal, hexadecimal, and binary number. To follow along with this project on a breadboard, you will need the following components. A Raspberry Pi Pico, 16x2 character LCD display with I2C, 11 12x12 tactile push buttons, 8 LEDs, 8 resistors which you can pick values from 330 to 1 kilo ohm, and a lot of wires and I have used two breadboards here. If you have ordered the PCB, you will need to get the female header pins, if you want to unplug your picker from the PCB and four header pins to connect the LCD. We will also be using the 6x6 tactile push buttons instead of the 12x12mm push buttons. The PCB is available to download in my GitHub repository with all the code. Here is the schematic diagram for this project. If you are building it on a breadboard, one side of the buttons will be connected to the 33 volt rail and we will use internal pull down on the pins of the Pico. We will connect 8 LEDs to the Pico, setting the pins as an output and using current limiting resistors. The 16x2 I2 LCD will be connected to GPIO 0 and 1 using the I2C0 communication protocol. After constructing the circuit in my GitHub repository, you can download the code for a breadboard or a PCB version. The difference between the two is that I have used different pins on a PCB as the one showed on a breadboard. In Fonny, click on View, Files, navigate to the code folder and upload three files to your Pico by selecting the files, right click and selecting upload. Let's take a quick look at the PCB board main file together. We start by importing all the necessary libraries and for the LCD we use the library from the GitHub user T-622. Next we will set up our I2C communication for our LCD. To get the address of your I2C LCD you can run the following script with your LCD connected. This will give you an I2C address now we can set up the I2C 16x2 character LCD display. In the next step, we'll create a list of GP pins of our LEDs that we will connect. We create an empty list to set up the initial pins as output by looping through the LED pins list. We will repeat the same process for buttons, but setting it as input with internal pull-down resistors. We will then create a counter that will allow us to store a denary value of the active bits that is high using the decimal to binary conversion table. In our main loop, we will first loop through the 8 buttons to see if any button is pressed. When a button is pressed, the value will go to 1. We will first check if the LED value is 1 and button 1, which means the bit was already set, which we will then set the button value to 0, remove the bit decimal value from the table to counter. We print out the counter and short delay, we call the function display, which we pass the value of counter. If the LED was zero along with the button, we will add the bit decimal value from the table to the counter. Print the counter value, followed by a short delay and calling the display function, passing it the value of counter. We then check the other three inputs, which will be our reset button to set our counter to zero and call the display function. The other two buttons will add 1 to the counter, 
or subtract 1 from the counter. This will allow you to add 1 to the counter between the value of 0 to 255. The function display will control the LCD and what we display to the LCD. We create an 8-bit binary digit from the counter and store it in a list LED on off. We map this list to a string to be used to display to the LCD. And then we can loop through the LED on list to set the LEDs high or low depending on the counter value. We then convert the counter to a hexadecimal value and do some basic formatting for the binary value. Then using the LCD library methods, we write all the information to the LCD screen. And that is all the code. It is very straightforward. Once we upload the code, we can do a quick test to see if everything works. I hope you found this project helpful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next video.